is Coach Frank Martin seat getting hot in Columbia, South Carolina. Hey, you guys stick around. I'll let you know what I think of the whole situation. What's up and welcome back, everybody. Gamecock Chuck here with another video today. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, South Carolina men's basketball program. Uh, some of the things, some of the things I read uh, online yesterday, uh, talking about uh, coaches that are on the hot seat uh, this coming season. So before I uh, jump into it, I need I'd like for you guys to help me out. I need you guys to help me out here by doing a couple things: by liking this video, subscribing to my channel if you ain't already subscribed. If you have subscribed, I thank you for that. Comment, let me know what you think uh, on this video and in all my content. And also, if you if you know any Gamecock fans out there, uh, send them my way. You know, share my channel, share this video with them, and encourage them to uh, give me an opportunity to entertain them by subscribing to this channel. You know, help this channel grow and get out there. I try to do Gamecock content. You know, every week uh, with football kind of slowing down, getting ready to come to an end here soon. Uh, basketball season is getting ready to kick off, so I'm going to try to put out more content uh, basketball related. Uh, as well as finish up the football season. So it's going to be a busy, busy next uh, month, month and a half or so. Uh, so we'll see how it plays out. But like I said, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about hot seed and college basketball and things like that. Uh, I was reading an article yesterday. Uh, I think it's from Gamecock Central or something like one of them websites. And they were talking about coaches that were on the hot seed and Frank Martin popped up on there as, as a list, and, and I can see that. You know, he's been with South Carolina for this is his tenth season. Uh, he owns a uh, 153 to 134 win loss record. Brought took us to one uh, tournament appearance, which resulted into a Final Four. You know, that season, the 2016-2017 season. Uh, but since since that Final Four, that magical run South Carolina had when they knocked off some of the Blue Bloods in the uh, in the tournament, you know he's went fifty seven and sixty, so not not very impressive, and uh, yeah, it's not very very impressive record. So I can understand why people think that his seat should be getting hot there in Columbia, um, but you got to look at a couple other aspects, you know. South Carolina, when you look at South Carolina, you think about college basketball. South Carolina is not a program that's going to jump out at you. It's going to, going to say, wow, this is an elite program um, that's going to win you know, championships year in, year out. So, I mean, when he took that job, he knew it was an uphill climb from the get-go. But at the same time, you know, what is the limitation? Where does it, where does it end? Where does this journey come to an end? For both South Carolina men's basketball and Coach Frank Martin, um, you know, when the media and the outside people think of Frank Martin, they think of a screamer, a yeller, a cusser. You know, somebody that's very rough around the edges. Uh, someone that's tough on kids or his young, his uh, recruits and his players. But if you listen to uh, post interviews or interviews from uh, previous players or current players on the roster. A lot of them guys have nothing but love and, and respect for Coach Mar Martin and the way he uh, he develops them, not on the court, but as an outs as as a bigger picture, you know, the bigger picture in life once you get past the, uh, the basketball playing days. Um, and to be honest with you, that's what these kids need. They need they need someone to teach them life lessons because basketball, as everybody knows, is not gonna gonna last forever for these young men. I mean, so you, you got to have something to fall back on. Uh you got to have the uh skill set of what it takes to be a thriving and successful adult uh in this society, a contributor to society. Uh, some of these young men are going to be fathers one day. And Coach Mark Martin and some of his uh, his teachings could help them out that way, you know. So when I look at Coach Martin, Martin, I don't I don't see the rough exterior that everybody else sees, the media portrays him to be. You know, I believe that he is there to help these young men be successful after basketball. Um, I think uh, 
like I said earlier, I think that's what these young young guys need. You know, there's not a lot of uh, a lot of coaches out there that could mentor young men. You know, for the after basketball effect. So, but you know, at the same time, you know, when coaches are hired, they're technically hired to win games, win championships, get you to the tournament, the big dance, whatever the case may be, whatever each school's goal is every year. Uh, like I said earlier, when you look at South Carolina, you don't think it's a premier program as far as men's basketball. Uh, South Carolina's more of a, uh, a women's basketball school. You know, Coach Dawn Staley has been toting that torch for a while now, for at least the last, God, I don't know, probably about the last seven, eight years maybe, maybe longer than that, um, 10 years almost. So she's been carrying the torch as a uh, – as the premier program there at the University of South Carolina. So, um, and I know everybody wants to see, you know, championships and things like that at South Carolina. I, I get it. I understand. I want it too. But, I mean, at the same time, you know, I feel that basketball is only just a sport. You know, it's just a game, you know. Life is greater than anything you can do on the court. So uh, do I agree that his seat is hot? Yes. I feel like this season he is uh, – I think he's feeling it. May, he may not want to say it. Or he may not want to put it out to the public, but I think he's feeling it from the administration, uh, from the boosters and things, you know. And I can tell that by I, – I feel that because of the way he's recruited this year, the way he's brought in six transfers – uh, he's built his roster basically around the talent that he had already there. Got a couple recruits in, and he also uh, he also loaded up on transfers. You know, six of them to be uh, to be specific. He uh, brought in Chico Carter Jr., Josh Gray, uh, James Reese the fifth, local local product right there in Columbia. AJ Wilson, uh, Eric Stevenson, and uh, Brent, Brandon Martin, his son, brought him in. Um, so. I think he built his roster this year because he knew that uh, that the, probably the end of the road was coming soon if he didn't produce on the court uh, like he should or like they expect him to. Um, and uh, to be honest with you, just by looking at their schedule, they do not have – the most difficult non-conference schedule in the country, you know, outside of uh, Georgetown, Florida State, and Clemson. Everybody on their non-conference schedule is is should be winnable games, to be quite honest with you. No disrespect to Wofford or South Carolina State or Ryder, you know, anybody like that. They play, you know, outside of the, the three teams I just mentioned. But uh, they're all winnable games. So I think he feels like, if he can build his roster with uh, some transfers and what he has coming back, that he feels he's got a good shot of making a tournament. So, I mean, I feel like all his non-conference game has to be has to be won this year in order for him to to come off the hot seat. I think if he goes 500 in non-conference, it could spell the end of the road for him. And that's not even getting into the conference play. You know, conference play is going to be tough. Uh, SEC's starting to get up there with the big 12s and the ACCs of the country. They're not, they're not there yet, but they got, they got some teams that can compete with, with the likes of them programs in the, in them conferences. So, you know, he's got to survive the non-conference schedule pretty much, I'd say pretty much undefeated. You know, I maybe lose one of them non-con games I talked about, maybe one to two, anything after that. I feel like if he don't remain close to perfect, I feel like the seat's going to really, really be scorching hot uh, come SEC play time. You know, I don't I don't want to see Coach Martin Martin get fired. I like to, uh, as a person, I like him. I like his – I like to – I like his character, the way he mentors them young men in this program. So, you know, I'd hate to see him get fired. But at the same time, I understand that it's a business and uh, – at the end of the day, you know, it's what you've done for me now, not what you've done for me in the past mentality, you know. It's about getting to the next level, getting to the championships, getting to the uh, tournament, NCAA tournament, you know, things like that. So who knows? Um, 
really don't know how the season's going to play out yet. I, I really haven't. Like I said in my one video, I mean, I guess I have said this, but uh, I feel like this is going to be an NIT team at best. So with that being said, you know, I think after everything I just talked about and things I discussed, I feel like I feel like this is probably Frank Martin's last year in Columbia. Uh, like I said, I don't, I do not want to see him leave. But like I said, at the same time, it's a business and it's about winning, winning games and winning championships. So, with that being said. Hey, like this video, share my video, comment on this video. Let me know what you think. If you think I'm just rambling, if you think I'm just crazy or whatever, let me know what your takes is on the whole hot seat uh, issue going on in Columbia. If you think his, his seat's hot or not, uh, just let me know what you think. There's no wrong way. There's no wrong answer to the right answer. Just, just let me know what you think. Um, be respectful though. And I'll be respectful back. You know, I'm not trying to get on no, uh, no, uh, I guess uh, getting no argument over, no foolish foolery around here. So uh, just keep it respectful, and I'll do the same thing back. Uh, share this video, like I said, with any Gamecock fans early. Get them subscribed to my channel. Encourage them. Let them know that I'm out there, and uh, just help this game, help this channel grow. And until next time, it's your man Gamecock Chuck, and I'm out, baby. Go Gamecocks. <laughs>